Thank you. Hello. Um, first of all, thank you for the um, the anchor of yeah. peace and yeah. light that your teachings brought to me in different, in difficult times. Thank yes. you for that. Yes. Um, I struggle with something, and I think I might not get something right. Okay. Let's um, go. When I he listen to your teachings, yes. they bring me in this place of the heart and the home, outside of the mind. Yes. But when I do the practice, and it happened here in the satsang, yes. during the meditations, I'm, I'm having a very hard time. With what? I get lost. Uh, you said that that's a sense of... In, in this question, mm. who is this who? Who is this? Who is this who? this and that. As an example, yeah. I step into that awareness mm -hmm. and instantly I realize, ah, I'm in the awareness now. Yeah, I'm uh, that's the trouble. And then yeah. there is this, who is this who is realizing? And then it goes yeah. on and on and on and on and on like that. No, it's not meant to go on and on. It's <laughs> meant to chop something. <laughs> because reason why the question come, because somehow we come to this place, then something wants to claim, I did this. Something wants to claim, and that claim usually comes from the mind. Yes, I went there, I found this, I know, what I, I know who I am, I know I'm not the person. I hear this lots of time, I know I'm the self and so on. And it feels as though that is the evidence of the success of that. Then I ask you who have done it, I said, pardon? Uh, me? Yeah, but you, you particularly are what? He says, me? I, I, I did it. I did it. Show me what you've done. You see, so this feeling of I, which has been given the accolade, given the gift of saying, I did this, I did that, I got rid of this, now I went above everything, I'm on top of the world. Watch this guy. It's a ghost, and it's not the Holy Ghost, okay? It is a ghost that has not been questioned, and it's causing a lot of trouble on this planet, because it is arrogant. It's not impartial. So this exercise, when done right, exorcise this ghost. So tell me again where it goes right and where it goes wrong. Just mm. now you do, now. Exactly when I begin, yes. when you begin the meditation and you say Om, yeah. then... I, so I say what? Om. Om, om. okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. There is a moment where there is just being. There is only being, yeah. Is beingness an object of perception? Slow, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Everybody question. Is beingness an object of perception? Meaning, ah, yes, I can see the beingness. Slowly. Somebody say yes. I'll hold that yes for a moment. It's an object of perception. Yes, I can see or feel the sense of beingness. It's good. Like this. I can, I can feel the sense of beingness. As different from the mind. Like this? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, Next step. And then, exactly, there is this, oh, I can feel the sense of beingness, and then I think that, that it's fake. That if I see that I sense the sense of beingness, yes. then it's not that. And then I'm in the mind. And then I get slow, lost. Slow, slow, slow. Mm. If I can see the sense of beingness, is beingness a dualistic experience? Please take a little moment, because if we look together and it becomes clear, then it will not trouble you anymore. Oh. Okay? Now I can feel the sense of being. I and being feel being. 
Then, question come? Maybe I'm lying to myself. That's Maybe always you're blind the, or lying? Lying, lying to then myself. Then the question comes, what when the being when the beingness is felt yes i i feel i feel it yes. and then because i realize that i feel it yeah you're feeling it I'm so you are separate from the beingness yes. feeling the beingness yeah okay are you less than the being or more than the being I let's slow down it's worth it i feel the being so the beingness is an experience that i'm tasting i feel it am i greater than the beingness or less than the beingness Let's, let's slow down. You don't know. Okay, so I can see the beingness. You see, the mind comes and says, "I can, I got it. I can feel the beingness. Oh. Feels nice. Feels nice." But then, what happened? When does the trouble come? And the next point, next now, after this, can feel the beingness, and then? I doubt it. It's not arrogance, I doubt it. No, no, no. I'm, then I'm, doubt come, and yeah. the doubt says? This is not it. The doubt says, this is not it. You're lying to yourself, this is not it. It's this doubt is a trend? Slow, look. The doubt come. You have not found anything in your life as nice as this. So doubt come. You are lying to yourself. <laughs> this is not it. Is doubt come as a friend to help you? <laughs> so the one who is helped by doubt, I would like you to come down a little bit, show me. <laughs> the doubt has come. Okay, uh, useful. We are not cursing doubt. We are going to make use of it, because whatever we find, we may find, okay, step one, two, three, bing, bill, done it, thank you, we're gone. But you say, the doubt has come that you are not it. Okay, so what do you do? Ah, oh, I give up, it's not working. Or you say, hey, wait a second. The doubt says, you are not it. Okay, now what? Doubt has come to help you. You're making a mistake. You're not this being. You're not this being. Okay. And then immediately you feel, ah, oh. you believe the doubt immediately, believe doubt. And then what happened? Everything breaks in pieces. Yes. That's my experience. It's p millions of pieces. Where so I the don't doubt know. was more true than the beingness, or less true or equal? I'm sorry, can you repeat? The doubt that came. Because beingness was very nice. Mm -hmm. And something going on, it's not cut. It's not true. <laughs> okay, now something is disturbed, oh, not, not even this. So it's not like somebody give you, I'm looking for the beingness, somebody, look, here it is. Uh, no, it's not. An, uh, no. It's not an object. Beingness is not an object of your attention. Not yet, maybe later. Now, some shift has happened from the place of person and uh, to somehow, whoa, a, a sense of spaciousness and peace where the mind in its ch -ch 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 was seen like, okay, okay, something is beyond this kind of mind storm, now place. But quickly, a voice come, knock it. Exactly. And how quickly you shrank. <sighs> is this it? So how valuable is the doubt? The doubt comes from the doubter. What is this doubt? Something that always hijacks your happiness. It comes quick and says, oh, it's not it. And not only were you able to say, and, and you are it, it immediately went shoo. So why it was attackable? Because you were experiencing it as merely a belief, not your experience. 
which is more real, your mind or the sense of being? The which sense, more feel like you? The sense of being. The sense of being. And the doubt come to tell you, not this. Could it be this false friend who come to put you off? Put you off. You see, when we say the mind, you're looking, you're catching the mind, and you're, the closer you come to exposing the thief, he keeps throwing stones in the bush. And you're coming, oh, and put you off the scent. Because you're easily put off the scent. They, they, I watched something one time, they say when the police are training, they got these uh, dogs, sniffer dogs, to catch drugs and stuff like that. They are trying to find the, the dog that has the, is the right kind of dog. So they put them to smell, to get used to sniffing out drugs. And then when they find, when they find the something, they start to maybe flush the tail or something, I don't know. They flush something. And then the, 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 the trainer comes and says, hey, good dog, and give him doggy biscuit. Then the dog happy. He's done his job. But if the dog is put on the exercise again to look, sniffing, sniffing, and the trainer come and give him biscuit, and then he gives up the search and enjoy the biscuit. Then they say, this one is not good. The dog that is searching for the drugs, you give him biscuit he doesn't want. He's homing in until, when he catch the biscuit, then he can have his, when he catch the drug, he will have his biscuit. So this is like you're onto this thing and you're going deeper and somebody, the mind give you biscuit. And you go, and the biscuit is, that's not it. You go, ah. <laughs> and you feel down, uh, depression biscuit come, you eat. <laughs> and so, so this is a stage, <laughs> you like this one, yeah? This is a stage that is important <laughs> to see that it is also, the, the mind takes another form to say, this is not it, to, to put you off the scent. You have come to the sense of beingness. From the place of beingness, the mind is more easily see seeable. You see? Okay. But the, 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 the thing is, we still retain some identity, even in the sense of beingness. It's okay for a bit, but only for a bit. Because as you remain uh, observing mind, you see that there's still some toxins left in the sense of beingness. And you keep catching them out like that. You follow? Yeah. So something make you abandon your search. You took the biscuit from the mind. And then it threw you into some chaos. You lost your trail. And then you feel, no, it doesn't work for me. You gave up prematurely like that. You follow? Is it useful what we are sharing like that? Spot on. Very good. So, what we will do now, as from now? Not take the biscuit. <laughs> it's good. Don't take that biscuit. <laughs> do that exercise. I don't know, or you tell me tomorrow what you find. From the card? Huh? Uh, the exercise from the card? Whatever works. Mm -hmm. It may be from the card, it can be from sitting. It, it could be from sitting. Mm -hmm. It can be sitting today also, you can watch. Uh, tuck. Then something can come whenever. Give me a... do it and let me yes. test it out with you. Yes. It feels good? Yes. And just a follow-up short. Uh. If if I took the biscuit, yes. the mo I don't want to follow the doubt, it just happens. And yeah. then when it breaks in those pieces, Wait, when, it what? when it breaks in those pieces yeah. that I said about, is there a way back? Can I see, ah, this happened and... Yeah, now you will see it. 
now you'll see the, the doubts arising and he says, actually right now I can see again this feeling of doubt is coming. Okay? The biscuit is being offered. But it's still only something perceived. Say so that is also perceived. Hmm? Don't purchase that. Stay only as the witness. Stay only as the formless witness. Don't pick up anything from the mind. This is such a valuable thing because many people are easily put off because you are looking for this. So the thief uh, or the one who is uh, want to get the drugs through, you see the dog come in, he gives him some nice burger. Come. Then he, he takes the burger, then you take the drug. You don't buy this thing. And it's going to work powerfully for you. Because when these things come to put you off the scent, is because there's something so valuable in your discovery. And we are all being cheated out of it by our own naivety or innocence. And you're going to grow powerfully in this. There's not a lot of things you have to conquer to find yourself. Just to watch the mechanism of the mind and identity. Very sneaky. Because after a while, it, it catches hold of you and you work for it. You believe it. I want to bring it to a place where at a certain point, the schemes of the mind, it's too late. You're out of, uh, you're out of this cage. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.